if you have a cell phone, and just about everybody does, then you need to hear this. Your personal information is at stake, and someone may already be watching your every move. Scary, but true. Fox Size Matt Lucia is here to tell us about cell phone spyware and some of the things it can do. Pretty disturbing. Very disturbing. And the worst part is, if someone has already hacked into your phone, it is very difficult to find out. Now, spyware itself is nothing new, but it is becoming easier and cheaper to get, making it easier to become a victim. It makes you feel crazy, like you never know what to expect. Cyber stalking, spying, or just being nosy, whatever you want to call it, it's destroying lives. Petrified every moment of every day. This victim, who did not want to be identified, says her ex-boyfriend has followed her every move. Technology has advanced so much over the past decade that everyday citizens, even the technically challenged, can use your cell phone in ways you'd never imagine. It's getting massive. Uh, every day it, it grows. This shows a cell bright forensic image. Of Las Vegas private investigator Adrian Leon Mayer specializes in computer and cell phone forensics. And every day, it's just so many different phones. Adrian is licensed to pull data off of cell phones, but more often he's seeing the average Joe doing the same thing with spyware. And it's all too easy to find on the internet. Really anybody is all. Oh, absolutely. The spyware today is so easy to use, almost anybody can do it. All he or she needs is access to your phone in a few minutes. If they go to the toilet or to the, to the restroom, um, they leave the phone on, on the desk. From there, the pseudo hacker takes that phone and goes to work. One search on Google and we found dozens, hundreds of products marketing themselves as tools to protect your children or catch a cheating spouse. The cost? Anywhere from $30 to $350. And once the spyware is on the phone, it hides itself very well. Absolutely undetectable. The average person could never ever find it. Tim Wilcox is one of the nation's leading cell phone spyware experts. His investigative firm in Indianapolis, along with another in South Carolina, are the only two labs in the country dedicated to weeding out the four lines of code that turn your phone into a homing device. It's like a needle in a haystack, so it, it's a very involved process. And unless it's found and removed by a professional, your stalker has an all-access pass to your personal and private information. Now they can get all your text messages and all your emails, uh, all your instant messaging, all your photos, your videos. To see how this spyware works, we asked Fox 5 intern Kaysen to try it out. With her consent, we installed one of the more popular programs to this BlackBerry. In just about 15 minutes, it was up and running. A remote website logging every move, even her location. After a few hours of phone calls and text messages, we knew everything she was saying. Every one she called. Are some of these uh, text messages here, do you recognize any of these? I do, I do. We were even able to tap into a conversation between Kaysen and our assignment manager, Carolyn. Let's take a listen here, what we were able to hear. Obviously, you can't figure the problem out. There is always possible information. Wow. So you don't know if somebody is already doing this to your phone? Right? I mean, if they are, then it's... They can see everything that I've done. I have no knowledge of it. There's uh, anybody's guess as to how many cell phones in the United States are uh, illegally bugged. The spyware itself is sold via offshore internet companies, making it legal to buy and sell. But when it comes to using this program outside of our demonstration, that's a little bit different. Well, it's a federal crime, uh, punishable by up to five years in federal prison, uh, a big fine. Not only that, but the victim may also be entitled to hefty damage. Damages. And you can just sue the heck out of the uh, the bad guy. I've heard lawyers uh, say before that it's like transferring the assets from the perpetrator to the victim. And as of right now, the only true safeguard against spyware is as simple as password protecting your phone. If they have access to the phone or to the computer, uh, uh, anything can be transpired. 
Yeah, password, password, password. That is the key. Now, even though the spyware is nearly impossible to detect, there are things to watch out for, signs that something just isn't right. If your phone feels a little bit warm when you haven't used it in a while, if your battery is draining faster than normal, or if you see your screen flash on and off real quick for no reason, all of these are red flags that someone could be tapping into your phone right now. So I'm officially paranoid at this point. Thank you very much, Matt. Is there a phone out there that I can buy that would keep me protected from something like this? Well, believe it or not, the smarter the phone, the easier it is to be hacked. Uh, any smartphone is vulnerable, but it's the prepaid phones, those disposable ones that you see in the convenience stores, because they don't have much memory to install these malicious codes, they are actually the safest against this software, and they're also the least expensive. Go figure. And if people think they've been hacked, are there resources for them to, to, to turn to now? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There are private investigators, always called police if you think you're being hacked, but we've got a whole list of these resources on our website at fox5vegas.com. Would your phone service know? I mean, if you were with Verizon, say, and you thought something was up, would they be able to tell you? Probably nope. not. Not at all. Wow. All right. Very interesting. Thank Matt, you, thanks. Matt. And tomorrow